Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. Oh, let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. So you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes, please, sir. I'll see what I can do. Oh. Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. The fellow's meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, what she said. <laughs> you ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know. Where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Well, let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left me. The dumb wench is still at the freight station waiting for the stagecoach. If you could convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. You'll need more than talk with that bitch. I'm a very good lover, sir. Interested? Sorry, but I got a wife. Here, this might loosen your tongue. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been in Armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. 
What happened to him? Well, what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fellow's Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I guess. Apologies, mister.
This is mighty generous of you, mister. Come on, let's get this over with.
Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? What happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. And what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that, then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> Don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self-same. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. that low, digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, ah, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you! Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses! They don't care none! These people have been laid to rest! You don't know nothing! I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow! I tell them it's alright to be scared and alone! I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten! I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. For you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they gets warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who'll do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a raging fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, 
I don't wash and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. There, there. Slow down. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. Don't you lay a finger on them horses, mister. Get away from them horses. Job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh my god, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! Get away from me! This ain't none of your business! You ain't the damn law! Just wait till I get loose, mister. Just name your price. <laughs> Seth lost his mind a long time ago.
You must be stupid trusting that crazy bastard. We'll split it between us, just me and you. Come on! Seth would sell his own mother! You son of a bitch, let me go! Who do you think you are, mister? Whatever he told you, it's a lie. Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisting little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah. Then I'm gonna cut you ah, off ah. piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's uh, gone crazy yeah. in the sun. Uh, I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to cut into a bona fide uh, man's flesh. Uh, Ain't never uh, cut into a uh, live one before. Uh, 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 odd, odd fellow's rest. It, it, it's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. <laughs> Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on, we can pay it off in the telegraph office. Uh. Uh. Best we deal with this now, mister. Treasure hunters. Anything for a quiet life. Master, I mm. hope you stay out of trouble now. Last night a drunken rough. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask it. No problem, mister. When you can ride, mister. Howdy. Oh my God, sir. Share Would you look at you? Miracles take place. My, my. Take a look at you. Will you take a look at you? You look like you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. Whatever you say. Cold, tough, but with a heart of gold. The cowboy sings his lonely song like, like a dog whose bone is made of wood. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. Yeah, my mom felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> uh, uh, Jimmy Saint, sir, at your disposal. But uh, please don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing the spirit. Spirit of the West, for a monthly back East. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh-so-witty and oh-so-pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after, and action I'm gonna find, too. <laughs> Wild men, mm, cheap women, you know, 
guns, that sort of thing. <laughs> well, you have fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. <laughs> Hello there. Thank you. Better off riding with me, mister. I'm doing the best I can, mister. Sorry about this, friend. Wait! That's my brother's wagon! Sorry about that. Still. <laughs> Come on, let's get this over with.
Mr. Marston. How are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy, your plan. I am merely the help, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull and feeding to the vultures myself. Ah, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, um, Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, <coughs> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <coughs> is money. Money? <coughs> what are you talking about? Oh, oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. <coughs> and... I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? Oh, no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. But come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> now, sir, shoot the gap, shoot the breach! <laughs>
mister. I'll take care of this cart for Mr. West Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we be a hasty retreat. Right. Best remove ourselves from the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Bye by me. Wasn't that fantastic? The cheers of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels. The fallen rocks, the homicidal maniac. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. Not the friendliest bunch, are they? They take the racing very seriously in these parts. And your participation was not entirely pre-approved. That was clear. Ah, sport, war, and heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. I'd get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish. Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. Uh, Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? <laughs>